Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. So let's get started with today's show. Now, I am continuing review of the 2018 Thorne Self-Publishing Survey results, and one of the results from this year was the level of experience of authors that is notable. We had 33.13% of authors, let me double check that number, yep, 33.13% of authors were yet unpublished. Hmm, that's interesting, right? I mean, you think about it, they're responding to a survey on self-publishing, which included income and achievements, yet they didn't have any books done. Hmm. Now, I had a similar experience with the 2016 survey, and I thought, well, maybe it's just me and my survey. Uh, but then as I looked at other surveys of authors uh, around the industry, I saw another one that was primarily uh, self-published authors, and they had also a large portion of yet unpublished authors. With, In other words, they have zero books self-published. <laughs> so hmm, that's a question. When do you consider yourself an author? Is it when you have your manuscript done? Is it when you've actually published? Is it uh, when you put pen to paper or uh, tap on your keyboard to create a few words? It's a good question, right? And, and let's think about this. When is an artist an artist? When the painting is done? When the painting is sold? or when they decide to put a brush to canvas. And I think it's significant. Uh, first of all, I'm really glad to see that <laughs> these authors were willing to identify themselves as authors, even if they didn't have a book published yet. I think that's great, you know, it, because here's the thing. When you start writing and writing with the intent to publish, in my opinion, you're an author. <laughs> and here's the other thing. In the United States, under our copyright laws, once your writing is in what's called fixed form, it's considered copyright. So... So I guess you could say you're an author as soon as you get the darn thing written or have any writing done. It's considered copyrighted. And I think this is really a significant question uh, because we often think we're not legitimate until we either have the book done or uh, we have it published or we've gotten a book deal from a traditional publisher. Yet, once you make that intention to become an author and start writing, you are an author. Now, this is also significant for another reason, and it has to do with your book marketing, surprisingly. What happens is with authors sometimes, because they don't believe they're legitimate authors until they have the book manuscript done or it's actually published, they don't start marketing until the book is done. Well, and at that point, you're pretty much late in the process. And you should start building your author platform as soon as you start writing the book, <laughs> actually, even before that, you know, you should start follow getting your fans and followers together of your work and the things you talk about. You should start that right away 
because then when you do actually have a book, you have a warm audience. In other words, one that is receptive to hearing about your book, you have them already in place. So that can really help your book sales in the long run. Now, if you've waited until your book is actually published, it's not that horrible of a deal <laughs> because I've done that too. Um, I've published and then uh, started to do all the promotions on it. So that's not unusual. And so don't, you know, don't get too hung up on it. Just realize that if you don't start early, it's going to be a long time before you realize book sales. So congratulations to all of those authors who participated in the self-publishing survey and you identified yourself as an author even if you didn't have your book done yet. And I also had to take in consideration that when I did the survey, it was about the middle of the year, middle of the summer, actually. And so there could have been a chance that some of these people would have gotten their books done before the end of 2018. So uh, that would have been a possibility. But um, I did not, I did not include those. You know, we talked about um, other incomes and forecasts and all those things. In the income survey, I did not include any of the authors who had zero books. So in the episodes uh, previously where we talked about what self-published authors actually make, I didn't consider any of the zero book published authors uh, because I wanted to see what people were actually doing who actually had books in the marketplace. But that doesn't mean that if you don't have your book done yet, you're not a legitimate author. So be proud of that and start telling people, hey, I'm an author. So I hope you found this encouraging. And if you did, as you're starting your self-publishing journey, uh, please wander over to iTunes and give The Heidi Thorne Show a nice rating and review. And no matter where you're at on your self-publishing journey, especially if you are just starting out, you probably want to subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show, this podcast, uh, so that you can get more insights on the self-publishing industry and how it works. And I am on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean. The video version of the podcast is on YouTube. You just uh, look for my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel. And if you want to listen to the podcast on your Alexa device, all you have to do is uh, look for the AnyPod skill on Alexa and you can listen to it there. Uh, my self-published books are available on Amazon. You just have to look for my Heidi Thorne author page. And my audio books are available on Audible and iTunes audiobooks. If you'd like to connect with me, my website is simply HeidiThorne.com. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode. And in the meantime, have a great day.